Come on, no. Uh, am I recording? Yes. Okay, so um, quick update. I think this is probably the last uh, circumcision update for a while because nothing is really going to change at this point. But I will do another update when I can finally have sex. I won't give you all the gritty details, all of the tough, hard work, the glory details. But just let, I'll let you know when like it's moved on a little bit. Um, so I don't know how long that will take. But right now, so the update right now is, yeah, it's, it's almost better, to be honest with you. We're at day, um, oof, I, don't fucking, I, can't, I can't math it. I'm good at math as well. Day 15. Is that right? Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Day 14. No, wait. Yeah. Not 15. Fucking hell. Day 18. All right. Hey, how you doing? Day 18. So here's the update. Um, it's all getting better. I think I've got one stitch left, but it's deep inside the frenulum and you can't really see it. Um, sensitivity's going down. Um, it's interesting. So you have sensitivity everywhere when it first starts. And it's not, for me at least, it's not that the sensitivity goes down overall. It actually goes down in areas, right? So it's like this area is less sensitive, this area, this area. So the amount of areas that are sensitive has gone down. Um, the thing is that it feels like I'm almost done with the sensitivity. I can still feel like there isn't much further to go. But it's still a little uncomfortable wear pants, to be honest with you, because of the frenulum. So I don't know. Hopefully that event, that's a long-term thing and it will go. It means you have to adjust, adjust yourself a lot. So, you know, I never used to need to adjust myself. Sometimes my balls. <laughs> I've got big old balls. But um, now I, I'm like, I'm walking, I'm like, oh, yeah, hey, sorry, babe, hang on a sec, I've got to deal with this. So I have to do that. So the sensitivity is going down. Uh, the stitches are almost out, uh, are almost done, except for that one. Um, itching is still really a problem. It, it itches a lot, you know. It's very frustrating. Um, and there's not that much you can do because even though sensitivity is down and like you can scratch, not really scratch, you can kind of nurture the area where it's itching and hopefully it goes. It happens all the time. So that's frustrating. You just got to deal with that. That'll go. Um, the uh, erections still happen a lot, a little bit less as time goes on, but they're still frustrating because there's nothing I can do about them, which is why the next video will be when I'm allowed to do something about it. Uh, again, I won't go into the details. But that's it, it's healing up. Day 18 for me was is like, okay, I feel like, yeah, I think I'm almost back here. You know, I'll be walking the dogs today and, yeah, feeling good. I can get back on track because this, honestly, this uh, 18 days, as it were, has been um, a real struggle. So if you're going to go and get this done or you're at the early part of it, I don't know how you prepare for it, but you've got to prepare for being just offline for a while. I don't know, there's probably more manly men out there who deal with this shit and I'm just... You know, I'm not very good at it. But um, for me, it just, just put me offline for two weeks. And it, it's, it was frustrating. You feel vulnerable and helpless, and it's not a nice feeling for me. So uh, you gotta, that's what you've got to prepare yourself for. I just had a shower. I'm still wet. Um, so that's the update. Next one will be when I can have sex. That's it, basically. Or have a Sherman. You know, whatever, whatever, whatever it is that the doctor says I'm allowed to. I have to go back for a checkup in uh, like a week and a half, in 10 days' time. Uh, you want to see me after four weeks, so uh, which is always weird. It's just going to be down there playing around doing his thing. Um, so I've got to deal with that, and then uh, I can get back to my life, basically. Starting today, hopefully I'm fully back on board. All right, good luck if you're going through it. Stick with it. Next day it gets better, it gets better, it gets better. Someone actually did, I think, post a comment saying they've been thinking about getting this done. Um... I, so I just want to point out my point of view just for the sake of it. They Because I don't know what their background was, right? But if you are thinking about getting this done, here's my thoughts on it. If you don't need to, don't. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't have got it. If I didn't need it, I wouldn't have got it done. My wife likes it more. She likes the look of it, right? But she's Jewish. She's That's what she's used to seeing. Not that she's seen a ton of them. <laughs> I hope. I don't know. Babe? No, she hasn't, right? She hasn't seen a lot of them. So, um... I wouldn't care if she had, but it's it's not that she likes the um, she likes the look of it rather, um, and it's easy to clean, not necessarily easier. It wasn't. I never found it hard, but but it's it's right there, so it's easy to clean. Um, but I just wouldn't have got it done. I guess it looks. I don't know. It looks a little weird. The frenulum's fucking huge. 
I wasn't expecting that. So just to be uh, detailed about it, of the glands of the penis, right? And then you have the little bit of foreskin remaining around the bottom, which has a lot of sensitivity in it. And then there's the frenulum that goes from just below the, the urethra opening down to there, down to the foreskin. So that frenulum, on me, it's enormous. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's limited by the size of the attachment, unfortunately. But, um, but it's really big. It's really big. Um, so I don't know about that. Like, I don't remember why I got onto that. But my point is, I don't know. If you're thinking about it, getting it done, I mean, aesthetically, I can see how some people think it looks nicer. It's very clean looking, and, and, and the foreskin before was a little odd looking. I'm not going to lie. It is a little odd looking. It's just this little tube sock, and you know. Um, but I wouldn't get it done unless I had to, personally. Uh, those were a bad two weeks. I'm not going to lie. They were tough, man. They almost put me into a depression. Again, I might just not have very strong resolve or character. I don't know. But um, bad two weeks, uh, tremendous pain. I am worried about when I can use it again just because it's really desensitized. Like hugely desensitized. I can do things with it that I couldn't do before. I can, I can become a carpenter with this thing and go frame houses with it. I mean, it's just like, uh, especially when I get the erections. But it's just like, I don't know, that worries me a little bit. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't get it done. I'm not discouraging anyone to do it, but if you're just like, hey, I think this is something maybe I should do, check your reasons. Know that there's a process you're going to have to go through that is, a, that is traumatic. And as men, we'd like to think that we don't have that trauma. Yeah, it's fucking traumatic, dude. Okay? It's tough. Your most vulnerable part is vulnerable. And it's tough. Um, and the end result, I don't know. Maybe I'll update this, as I said, when I can actually use it in a few weeks' time. Hopefully in a few weeks' time. Uh, but that's it. I'll see you on the next update, which may be a while, like I said. But I'll do other videos about other stuff. Fascinating stuff like passwords and privacy. Um, all right, little nuggets. Have a good day. Bye.